Josh, it's nice to see you. Again. It's been a while. Yeah, a long time. Where you been at Rapid? What do you think? If I asked you a position you play, what would you say now? Uh, defensive back. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, right now I'm just repping the uh, corner and nickel. So I figured that's probably where I'd be at for the season, uh, corner and nickel. Is that what you thought you'd be doing? Yeah, for the most part. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm healthy enough to play. You know, now in the previous years I played everywhere. So, I mean, they know I can do it, but I'm kind of more comfortable just playing nickel and corner right now. So he kind of let me do that for the most part. That's that's your background. That's where you started. How exciting is it for you to, to have a chance to do that again? Oh, very exciting. It's, it it get kind of frustrating when you don't never know going in a week if you're gonna be a corner or safety or nickel or dime. So I kind of know where I'm gonna be each week and each uh, going into the season now. So I can prepare. I can get my mind and practice and my body ready just to play corner and nickel. How do you feeling? Feels great. Feels better than ever. I feel better with with two ACLs than I did probably with zero with zero tears. So I feel better than ever right now. How much? I mean, how much are you looking forward to just getting back out there on the field? It's been a, it's been a long time. I mean, I'm just happy to be out there running around. You know, it's just it's fun and sitting on the sideline for so long. It gets frustrating. You kind of get down on yourself. You don't really know if you can still do it. So just to get out there and run around and make plays with my teammates is probably the best thing that, that I can be doing right now. So I'm just happy to be out there and trying to make it to the season. It's a big goal for me. Is that a mental hurdle you have to get over after going through an injury like that? Yeah, yeah. That's the that's the biggest part to me. If you wanna if anybody kinda asks me uh what's the biggest part about getting through an ACL, it's more so you know the rehab is gonna be a grind, but that mental aspect, because you never know how that how that knee's gonna respond to you. So you got you gotta kinda get out there and get in the, in the flow of things. You got to let one of those big offensive linemen kind of dive at their knee. And after that, you kind of know if you're ready to play or not. If you go dive for a ball, if you're not really jumping around and doing the things that you did before that knee, then that, you can kind of base it off of that because that's what I did. Because now, go, when I go out to practice, I don't really think about it. You know, it's just secondhand. In my mind, if, it, if it's meant to tear again, it would tear again. But I'm not really thinking about it. I'm just trying to go out there and make as many plays as possible and help the team. Yeah, uh, I was really down. I really, I really appreciate my teammates, my teammates and my family. They kind of, they kind of uh, helped me get through this last injury. Because without them, I don't think I probably would have came back for another year. It's kind of been times where, you know, when you after the first one, you kind of know like I can come back. But when you tear it again, it's like, can I still do it? You know what I mean? So with my help of my teammates and my coaching staff, the old coaching staff, and uh, my family, just telling me. I like one guy, this dude told me, uh, he told me if you you don't want to really quit. Like I, talk, like I said, I had thoughts of quitting. But he told me if you still got anything left in the tank, go for it. Because once it's done, it's done. And you never get to play again. That's probably the worst feeling ever when you know you can't really go out there and, go out there and run again. So he told me if you got anything left in the tank, you should go for it. Remember who he told T-Rock, Coach T-Rock. That's my, he kind of helped me get through a lot of things when he was here. So I really appreciate him for that. Josh, talk about uh, your new secondary coach, Griff, and uh, style of coach he is compared to what you've been here. Uh, McGriff is McGriff is a really good coach. He's a very good guy. He knows what he's talking about and playing, coaching in the NCAA and in the NFL. He has a lot of experience, so he kind of doesn't really give us just one style of play. He kind of gives us a lot of techniques, and he kind of wants us to to use those and which, which fits us best. You know, he's not really a robotic coach. He wants you to have your own type of style. But he's really, he's very funny. He's probably one of the funniest coaches I've had since I've been here. But he, he he's very into it. When we get on the field, he's intense. Every time he wants everything to, to be intense, he wants us to fly around. And it's kind of flowing through that secondary. So we kind of feeding off him. It's real big feeding off your coaches. So he, he's helping us in a lot of ways. And he's going to help the secondary to be Probably one of the best since I've been here. Josh, going through this the second rehab process, were you able to draw on what you did the first time, or was it almost like, well, it's, it's a totally new injury this time? It's like I've just got to take it differently. Uh, I drew. I kind of knew going into it what I need to, what I needed to do. So, like, you kind of knew, knew. I knew, like, what I'm doing week one, what I'm doing week three, 
what I'm doing week five. Like, I already knew it. So, sometimes, like, with the second injury, it actually, my process of healing went a lot faster because I already knew what to expect. The only reason the, the process goes slower the first time because you don't know what to expect going into rehab or what to expect after you tear it. But the second time, it's like I already been through it, so I can speed through half of this. What have you seen from Trace? He came back. Obviously, he was out in the spring too with the, the shoulder. Oh, Trace, Trace, just like me. We we talk a lot, and when we came back, it was just we we going out to fly around because we've been out for too long. You know what I mean? It's, we've been we need to go help the secondary. So Trace always been that guy that flies around with energy and wants to hit everything moving with a football, and he's still that same Trey, and that probably won't change no time soon. So he's working just as hard, and. He got a vengeance now. I don't think he thinks about those soldiers anymore. So he's out there still wanting to hit everybody moving. Josh, you got, I mean, there's one thing being the veteran of the group, but you got a bunch of guys at corner that have never played. All right. Um, what have you seen out of those guys, you know, like, you know, Jamel and, and Javar, those guys? They're working very hard. Those guys kind of come in like, it's hard when you see a lot of guys kind of come in talented. Some of the, most of these guys now, they're coming in talented. You know what I mean? And the coaches are just helping them get better. You know what I mean? So, if those guys, you know, sitting out, both of those guys kind of sat out last year. And under T-Rob, I feel like, under T-Rob and Muschamp, they kind of molded us to be what we are now. So those guys are hard, very hard workers and they're learning. So I feel like if any one of those guys or anybody in the secondary gets put out there, there's no drop-off because they know what to expect. There's no drop-off in the secondary if you're a freshman, sophomore, senior. Everybody has the same expectations. So they're working hard, and they're, 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 really, they're really learning and picking up the schemes and every day. Josh, speaking of the freshman you brought up, uh, what have you seen from John Broussard? Because obviously he rolled here in the, in the spring, and certainly one of the things that Coach McGriff touched on, he's a guy that needs to put on weight. How much progress have you seen from him since the spring to now? He's good. He's very good. He, he's a hard worker, just like I said, just like the rest of them. That whole little freshman class is very hard work, and he, he has really good. You can tell he's really coached up well in high school. And, you know, some guys don't really have all that, but these guys that we're getting that they're recruiting are coming in very well coached out of high school. So the, co the, to the, the technique that they're getting teached here is just bettering them to be even better. So he's going to be a good guy for us in the secondary. He could probably help us this year too as well. Yeah, a lot. My dad, and my mom, it, you know, that's big. Uh, they, 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 they really, they really are like my foundation to, to, to keep pushing. You know what I mean? Like, once I find, like, I, could, I couldn't really quit once I know like he, he lost his lower part of his left leg. So I know that was tough for him to do. So I figured if I could still do anything that I needed to try to do it. You know what I mean? So we talked a lot. And he told me as well, he said he was behind either decision I had, you know what I mean? He said if I, if I didn't really want to keep trying, he was behind that. But he said if I was going to do it, I need to do it with 100% and put my all into trying to get back to playing my best football.